Burkina Faso's military's decision to take the reins in the aftermath of Compaoré's exit has sparked angry protests at home. The African Union on Monday threatened sanctions. The presidents of Ghana, Senegal and Nigeria have also encouraged Colonel Isaac Zida to step down and adapt civilian rule. However, in spite of having initially indicated keenness to comply with the AU ultimatum, the country's new leader now appears to have changed tune. The Africa Union can say three days, but that deadline only applies to the Africa Union. What is important for Burkina Faso is to find a consensus that means that we can get to the end of the year without any problems and to hold elections where everyone will accept the results. We are heading towards a peaceful constitutional situation for the serenity of all Burkinabes. Zida's remarks come a day after the army agreed on a year-long transition with elections to be held in November 2015. Wednesday's talks, however, failed to designate a leader, but diplomats voiced optimism that the transfer of power to civilians would be achieved swiftly. Analysts, however, warned that a military attempt to hold on to power could see a return to street protests similar to those witnessed last week. The military needs to hand over power to enable us to have a peaceful transition in a very short time. I think the two weeks proposed by the African Union is too long. The youth want to see what the transitional government will do. The ultimatum for this will be when the transition starts. If the transitional government forgets the aspiration of the young people who went out on the streets, and if the transitional government doesn't deliver, all the youth will be back on the streets. According to the military leaders, consultations between political and civil society stakeholders will continue in a bid to establish a widely accepted transitional government. Mahemutwa CCTV.